Welcome back to another episode of the We Love Gaming Podcast. This is episode 33, and uh, today is a pretty decent day in uh, Southern California, IA. <laughs> um, but uh, what have you guys been up to this week? So, for me, it's been nonstop Demon Souls. Ooh, oh, yeah, okay. I see you so on this there. week. You on, there. <laughs> God, you see, hey, you on that's heavy, been heavy. That's all I've played this week. Okay. So, I know the last time we had this conversation, I'd played a little bit of Demon Souls, mm-hmm. and I was playing primarily Valhalla. Right. Well, this week has just been there. I've, I haven't played anything else other than Demon Souls. So, have you left Valhalla in the dust? <sighs> I've paused it. Okay. I've taken a break from Valhalla. Right. Like, I do want to go back to it and finish it. I have like 30 hours into Valhalla. Okay. So, I have, I have a lot of time in there. So, I just kind of wanted to take a little bit of a break. Mm-hmm. And, uh, pop in demon souls and uh a lot of what i said still stands like so far a lot of the bosses have been there are like quite a few gimmick bosses that i'm i, I didn't remember that actually existed yeah like the the dragon god you remember the dragon god right stone which one though? the big dragon that punches he's the big massive dragon. okay yeah, yeah 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 and when you're going down the corridor you see his face right and he punches the walkway or whatever right and he punches you like that fight is a total gimmick is it like literally it's, it's the cheese? It's like I didn't easy. remember how easy it was, but it's extra, extra <laughs> easy, dude. Okay. It's actually probably even easier than that adjudicator fight I was telling you about last time. Where yeah, just where you just swipe the sword in his gut, yeah, yeah, and then you hit his head. Yeah, like it's actually might even be easier than that. Hmm. Dang, because I actually then I got hit on the adjudicator fight once, and I had to actually heal. Okay. <laughs> you got hit once, wow. Oh, God forbid you heal during a battle. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is just like you. You have like these rows levels yeah and uh on the level you have these pillars and if you hide if you stand behind a pillar he can't see you supposedly and so he like is hunting for you it's like his head is going back and forth and he's like hunting for you all right and then the moment you jet to try to go further down to the to get to the stairs you're onto the next road he kind of sees you and he tries to punch you but honestly if you just jet and then stand behind the next pillar pretty quickly he kind of goes from like about to attack you to just back to hunting you again yeah, oh, and damn, then once you dude, get to the, the AI end, is dumb as shit. Dude, and when you get to the end of the row, there's a uh, like a crossbow, you know, some type of harpoon know, arrow, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that you shoot at him. Yeah, and that takes half his life away. Right, Dang. and then you go down the stairs and you do the to cross the other one, side. Right? Yeah, and then you sh- fire the harpoon at him again, and that takes the other uh, like other half of his life down. Yeah, and then all you do is just walk down up to his head and just swipe his horn, and he's dead. Oh, that's man. literally the fight dude that's too easy. i didn't remember it was that easy and that was the prime demon of yeah. that zone right, like right every right. zone has a prime the, demon the big that's cheese. the big one right yeah. there yeah. but the fight before him is the flame lurker and everyone says the, fr- the flame lurker is the hardest it was um, the most annoying one i remember you could not beat it i remember specifically when we were playing that game back in the day we were playing it at the exact same time you and i played that game at the exact same time right we were living, I think we were living, we were uh, living yeah, for, for college yeah, at that time. Yeah, I was yeah. living with you. And you could not be the flame lurker. And I remember you saying, dude, Rick, you got, we got to find a way to join each other's world. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. And that's when we learned how to join each other's world. Yeah, well, you got to hit jo- the uh, yeah. bell. Is it a bell? Or no, it's no, not no, a bell. No, it's, you, it's a sign, but you had to have the password or whatever. You had to, nah, you had to have, you had to be in the same faction. So like oh the yeah yeah God. no no that's de- that's Dark Souls. There's no Dark factions Souls? in Demon Souls. Okay, which what was it that we had Dude, to do? Dude, Demon Souls is just like a password thing, and we had to be like a similar level, uh-huh. and we had to have a password. Right. I remember we were looking it up trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually we did get they it to made work, that shit and I joined your world, and we beat that flame lurker dude together. I remember that, but I beat him on, by myself. He did kill me a few times this time around. Okay. But what I ended up doing is just bow and arrow, man. Oh, yeah. It's way it? easier with bow nice. and arrow. Hmm. Like, I've learned that quite a few fights are much easier with bow and arrow. Do they have an ebon bow in there? Or was that no. Dark Souls also? No. I don't think they have an ebon bow. I have okay. this white bow. Uh-huh. It's like called the white bow, and it's pretty strong. It's literally called the it's white literally, bow. It's a white-looking bow, so okay. that's literally all it is. All right. Um, but it's pretty. It was. It's really strong. Anyways, the boss fights have been pretty... It's really funny because, like, the some of the zones to get to the bosses are, like, an abs- are atrocious. Like, absolutely terrible. Like, I can't remember what it's called, but down in the muck, in the valley, kind of similar to the one town in uh, Dark town Souls. Oh, it's a... Uh... Yeah, you asked me if I got yeah, there if yet. If I got there yet. I forgot the name. There's another one of these in Demon Souls. Uh, I cannot remember what it's called. But the first part was pretty darn annoying. It's very similar to that, that town in Dark Souls 1. But then you get down into the muck and the mire, and you can't walk. 
So you, mm. you have to push your, your run button to just even move to even through stroll. it normal. Right. And you cannot roll in it. Okay. Uh, and if you try to roll, he goes, oh, oh. <laughs> and then like is sitting there getting attacked. Wait, does he have facial expressions in this? Well, you have a mask on. You okay, so you never done so a lot. You take I don't off know the if he's making a face, but his body contorts, you know? Yeah, And, yeah. like, makes the sound that he can't move. Okay. But I've died many a time because there's, like, little islands, right, on, right. in the mud that you can stand on and move normal. Right. And so you kind of want to lure the enemy to that little island and then, like, battle him there. But sometimes your foot just might nick the mud. Like, it's hard to tell. Ah. Dude, it's, so it's very up? poor, like – whatever the marker of the mud on the island is not very well done. Okay. And I've got like, I died like many times. I'm not kidding. Like it got to the point where I was like, you know what? I think I'm done. I'm like, I just like, I'm going to throw my controller <laughs> at the screen, dude. Like this is so cheap. Yeah. It's so cheesy. It's so cheap. It's so annoying. Like I was really, really getting frustrated with it, but that's the only zone that I've come across. That's really frustrated me. And then I did come across another boss that took me a few tries to beat too. And it was called the old hero the old hero boss or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that one was annoying too because the run back to him is like atrocious. Oh, if so you die? You just see like a lot of the flaws with Demon Souls like because it was the first iteration. Right. Um, but it, it, oftentimes it's like, okay, the hard part is getting to the, the fog window and then once you get to the fog window, now you just kill the boss and you got the bonfire, right? Okay. But getting to the fog window can be a real challenge on some of these zones, man. Mm-hmm. That's where the real challenge is at. But that was also one of the, the good things one of the good things about the game was that like as many times as you kept going back, there were ways to like stock up your souls and stuff like that. And so you would just get stronger and stronger because you kept doing it over and over again until those yeah. guys became there's like like easy a, as hell. Right? There's a pretty dope farming spot though, where like okay. you get more souls just like one minute of doing that farming spot than you do yeah. from like a boss fight. Do you have to use an arrow? That's why you go like yeah, that? Yeah, you use an okay. arrow because he's like far away, the guy you're trying to pick off. Yeah. You got you to shoot your arrow at him uh-huh. because the thing is he's like, you're on like this level and he's down below and you got to shoot him. Mm-hmm. And if you go down like to loot his body as well, yeah. then there's no way like to get back up. Oh, So I think okay. a lot of people, what they do is they, um, I don't really know what they do to be honest, but I think like they shoot him and then kill themselves and then restarts and they grab their their soul pile mm-hmm. and they keep doing that over and over to speed things up. Oh, got you. Okay. But that may be like a PS3 thing because on the PS5 the loading times are literally Super like quick. four seconds. Ooh. Damn. I go back to the bonfire and I hit reload and I'm done in like four seconds. Nice. Damn. Dude, it's crazy. Like, so the best way that I do it is I just shoot the guy and I run back to the bonfire and I hit reload and I'm back at it again. Okay. So I don't got you. Do no so you don't have to kill yourself. Yeah. Hey, quick nice. note. You bought. Uh, Vault Hollow for a PS5, right? Mm-hmm. You actually no, got a physical PS4. for a PS4. Physical, okay. but you got a physical. physical disc. Yeah. Okay. I kind of want to borrow that from you, um, one time because I just want to check on the load times for the PS5 oh, for Valhalla Xbox. versus the Xbox because, um, I started a uh, Valhalla up again, uh, this weekend and I was just like, damn, this, this is taking like long. a cool little minute, like compared to, to, to load right? in. Yeah, compared <laughs> to Spider Man, I was like, ah, this kind of makes me not want to play it. Like, you know, but, wow, you man. got spoiled that quick. I, just, I get just it. for yeah, a second, I get yeah. It. I get but it. you know, it's it, it might not have been that big of a deal, but I just want to see exactly how long yeah. it was, you know, yeah. to see if I'm just tripping. I can, I can bring it over or for if you. it is, okay. Yeah, right, nice. sure, but go ahead. But yeah, but Dark Souls, man, like the load times are incredible. Like it makes everything. It's just really fun. Can't wait to play. I'm in really enjoying it i'm really having a good time with it like it's still i'm at the point now where i'm probably so strong that i should probably just end the game and restart it again and join okay, the new game, new game plus, plus. but i've been kind of lollygagging you know did you finish the main the main story and all that no i haven't finished the main story yet oh, okay but, but, how are you strong you enough, but you're strong enough to yeah just i could just i'm game. just kind of like bsing like okay. i'm i, I kind of want to I, w- I was going back through zones and seeing if i collect things that i couldn't collect before okay nice. i'm just kind of bsing which i don't really i don't really need to do any of that like i'm but you're enjoying the game yeah i'm yeah. just overpowered to the point where I could just now just go finish it. Right. So I need to probably do that, which I might do that because I have Monday off. Yeah. Okay. Through the weekend, right? Nice. So I'll probably end up doing that on Monday. Nice. Um, but I have other games I want to play too. Like I have Devil May Cry 5 that I still wanted to play. Right. Um, there's lots of games I want to play. But Are you going to go ahead and been... pop in um, Legions again on uh, 5 and, and give it a whirl? I do want to try Legions. Like, did you finish it? I never finished it. Okay. I do want to so try. I do want to try Legions again because I think it would look really great. Like mm-hmm. the graphics are going to look really dope. Yeah. But I also want to try Bug Snacks, and there's like quite a few things I want to try. And man eater. 
yeah, I want to try Man Eater. Like, there's just things you I do want to play and try out, you know? And so, yeah. like, there's lots on the backlog right now that I want to play. Um, like, I have no desire to want to go out and get a new game right now. I got so much to play right now. Yeah, but, uh, Man, for sure. You still got Days Gone. I got Days yeah. Gone, and I actually fired that up on the PS5. Did you? And it had my save from my PS4, which I had, like, barely any play time on that game. Oh, okay. I did, like, the very first tutorial zone, and, like, I stopped. Yeah. But it looked really good on the PS5, and it got me a little excited to play it again. Nice. So I might want to sit down and play that again. I do want to play the P- I, w- I want to play The Last of Us 2 again on the PS5. Okay. Like, nice. Just to see if it's load the what the load times and just you know just a little improvements yeah, sure. yeah. even though there's no direct PS5 upgrade yet right um, I do want to play that through again so there's lots of things I want to play man I'm really enjoying the PS5 I still like when am I gonna fire up the Xbox I don't know man like <laughs> One I'm day. still playing the, yeah still playing yeah. the PS5 yeah. nice. what about you Mark so I started the week off by playing Greedfall okay okay um, after after okay. you uh, suggested nice. you know after you told me some mm-hmm. things so I started the game off. Um, I love games where you customize your character. So I made some lady who I was like, all right, I'm going to make her like some sort of, because you can have guns in that game. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to make her like a sniper kind of character. But I started the, playing the game and I hated the way characters talked. It was like so f- like uh, fake, generic. Okay. Um, and then the dialogue, the NPCs, I, I wasn't feeling the world. Uh-huh. Um, but it kind of got me the itch on, I want to customize the character. It was fun because I was like, Theory mm-hmm. crafting and thinking about things yeah. and looking up builds. Um, so I started a Fallout Fallout Four. I never played Fallout Four before. I was telling you about Damn, that dude. one. Yeah. So <laughs> you should have played Fallout Three. So I did play Fallout Three way back in the days, just oh, a little okay. bit. I got to the point okay. where I just got out of the vault, and then the game just started, it? and then I got to a point where I kept dying. So you never even got to okay, Nuketown so then. Gave up. I don't think so. <laughs> Dude, the stories in Fallout 3. Yeah, the stories in Fallout 3. I played that game so long ago. Okay. I don't remember Jack Spot. But anyways, because of the, you know, it's one of the, the PlayStation yeah. uh, Plus collection. Right. I was like, all right, let's try Fallout 4. Oh, so I started a Fallout 4, dude. Oh, my. Oh, my. That that game blew my mind. It's, yeah, um, I can't believe I missed that game. I missed so many great games. But uh, so I like the story, you know. Uh, I'm trying to find my son, Sean. You know, mm-hmm. and it's 200 years later. They killed yeah. my wife. Dude, I'm out for blood right now. Yeah. So I'll, so, <laughs> so, uh, I like exploring the, the world. I like exploring and customization. So this character, I'm kind of like trying to make like a 007 kind of character. I'm trying to just be like a glass cannon. Just try to sneak up on people with the pistol, take them out. Mm. Um, are you using mods? Uh, Abuse mods for my has mods now. Oh, you mean mods for the game? Yeah. No, I'm just playing it vanilla style. So, uh, I. Yeah, you want to do it vanilla first because if you activate any mods, even texture mods, they will take away your trophies. Oh, really? You can't earn trophies. All right. Thanks yeah. for letting me know. Huh? Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm very early in the game. I joined the Minutemen. I'm doing some quests mm-hmm. for them. But I love just organizing my freaking uh, settlement, man. I yeah, love just. Really? Building yeah. your base and all yeah. that? Yeah. I just been I've been making like double decker buildings. I made like a nice rows of, of melons. I had like a little garden with trees. That I don't know. I like doing. That kind of we stuff. gotta get back on. He's like farm man. building it up. Huh? I'm like farm building yeah, that. I, I made like too. a little like a tower, <laughs> like a defense tower. Yeah. All my generators, yeah. lights. See, that's dude. new for Fallout Four. That wasn't in Fallout Three. There was no base building in Fallout Three. Right. Dude, I love the base. And then once I spend all my resources, I go out and explore. Like when I need, you know, more gear. Like when I need all the materials, I'm more like, all right, to time up. to go play the game. So you, you know, stay at home for a lot, huh? Dude, I stayed at home for like three hours last night. I wasn't. Uh, even, I was just. Nice. I was just spending every playing grounded, dude. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get, you <laughs> know, fun. stuck in that, and it's, it's you cool. Love that. Yeah, you do love that building stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it was fun, man. Yeah. Um, but I love, dude, the the quest, the acting, everything's really good in Fallout Four, man. So so far, I'm having a blast playing that game. I can't wait to like level up more and. Uh, but yeah, that game's that game's super fun. So that's is that what you've been spending most of your time on. Yeah, that's what you're that's gonna, what you're I'm gonna keep do. playing that one, dude. Fallout Four is really good. Mm-hmm. I think the some of the storylines in Fallout Three are better though. Like, there's some moments in Fallout Three, man, that are just like seared in my memory. Like, I'm yeah. never gonna forget them because it was the first one that we had played that was like that. You know what I mean? Well, I just think the stories though, the stories were just really, really good. Yeah. Like when you like you remember you like they're unforgettable events that happened in that game. But I, I remember them more so just because, you know, like 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 we had said, you know, before, like Fallout 1 and 2 was like something totally different. Mm-hmm. So this Fallout 3 was like, you know, the first one of its kind like this or whatever, you know, it's open world and everything. And you're literally just running through places and there's like random people running up to you like, oh, God, 
you know, I need help. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and then there, the quest is like something dumb, like big mutant ants, like attacking a village <laughs> or a town or something like that. Like there's just like so many random things. And the, the fact that you could like change like the whole outcome for a whole town, um, you know, and, and different things like that. Dude, like but all it, that stuff was just super It was super also dumb. like the very first game in its ever, I think the first of its kind mm -hmm. where it, it's so memorable when you're in the vault, you don't really know what to expect from this game. Right. Like there were no fallout mm -hmm. games before fallout one and two don't really count. You know, I'm talking about modern right. day fallout games, right? right? There was nothing before fallout three fallout three was one of a kind. It was like, in my opinion, like the first real fallout game that we consider a fallout game these days. Right. So you didn't really know what to, we didn't know what to expect. Like the, and at that time we weren't watching like tons of YouTube videos that were spoiling and revealing everything. You knew that you so, were going to get out of the vault but you didn't know exactly right. when. We didn't know like what was going on. In yeah, the vault. exactly. Yeah, we didn't like even that. know really what it was like when we got out of the vault. Right. And that feeling, I'm it's like I'll never forget it. Like you're in the vault for for a little while in the beginning of the game you're living in the vault and then everything goes to haywire and you open up the the door to actually leave the vault and stepping outside and it being bright and then clearing away. And then you just see you the just massive see the destroyed wasteland. Yeah. And you're just like, OMG, right? Like, you don't know what to do, where to go. The game, like, kind of gives you a little it direction. Doesn't direct there you really that much. isn't any, yeah, there isn't yeah. really any direction. And you're just like, that's enormous. <laughs> that's daunting. That's scary, right? Like, this is crazy. Yeah. And that rush, that feeling of, first opening the vault and seeing the world mm -hmm. right like is etched in my memory that experience and then just creeping forward into the world and slowly but surely it's you know eking your way towards your goals and right collecting yeah, i don't think you start off with a weapon so you yeah i don't think finding you, i think weapon, you're right yeah and like, then you know and then you're just like you just explore and then you just come across things that give you quests <laughs> and give you more quests to go here yeah and, you know and then you just explore some more and it's just like it was like one of those games where it was truly like, what will I find next mm -hmm. in here? Yeah. yeah. And a I, lot of games, you know, just like took that, you know, took that scenario. A lot of know? games do that now, but it was like the first to do that. And it's yeah. like a bone chilling feeling. Yeah. I played it like maybe in 2009. I don't know when it came out, like around then. Because mm -hmm. I remember a Hollywood video over here in San Bernardino was going out of business. So they had like a buy two, <laughs> get two games, get two free. And right. I remember the trade in value was like, pretty good on fallout and i you know i bought like eight games and then i got like three copies of fallout so i played it for a little bit before i traded it in and uh you know it was cool in the vault um you know i think it starts like some there's some birthday party mm -hmm. and you're doing and then mm -hmm. you go to class mm -hmm. right um but once i got once i once i got out i was so overwhelmed that because it's like you level yeah. up and then it's like uh you know, pick stats and I didn't know what anything did at the time. You know, now I mm -hmm. like those open world explorations, but mm -hmm. you know, at that time I never you played for it. Yeah. I never played like oblivion at that time. So I didn't know like exploring and click everything. I was mm -hmm. just rushing through. And then when I got out of the vault, I think I didn't even know how to fight. I was just running places and I was just dying. I, yeah, I, it I, was, doesn't I didn't really know where hold to go. your hand. Like it doesn't, you're just yeah. kind of like, and just like, you're, I don't know. You're benefiting from exploring and searching. Like, oh, you know, because you, you find like a body or something like that or a person laying out there. And then you, oh, you got the gun. And I do remember and then that. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going mm -hmm. everywhere with this one gun. This is all I got. It's and my then you one. Kill somebody you're clinging and they got to it for like survival. Yeah. Like, it's like every little step, you could be running into like a bloat a bloat fly or something like that's going to kill yeah, you, a right? Mole rat or something a mole like rat that. is going to kill you. And like, you're kind of just creeping Rabbit through. Dog. It's that it's, it, it captured that feeling of like post-apocalyptic. You're a survivor. Survival. And yeah. like, you're one of the few, and this is what the world is now. You know, it just really captured that. Cause I think we all think, what would it be like if yeah, there was a post-apocalyptic sure. world and we survived? And yeah, it, it captured that like no other game ever, could ever really do i mean games do it kind of better now but at the time like no other game would really capture that experience yeah mm -hmm. and fallout 4 holds your hand a little bit more yeah it does Fallout 4 hold your it hands does. quite a bit more than fallout 3 and so it's a little bit more accessible but that takes away some of that experience yeah. that we have but it's still I, a great game i almost uh would like a world almost like arc or like game game type like arc where you just come in there and there is absolutely no direction or anything but fallout you know what i mean where mm -hmm. there's so much stuff out there to yeah. encounter so many people to come across you know what i mean i think that would be like a good mixture you know because then it would really literally be upon well, and fallout works perfect too because it's not multiplayer 
Yeah. You know, so you don't have to worry about someone coming and ganking you. And it yeah. is. You're just ex- it's just fully 100 percent exploration. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's not really even about like collecting. It's they didn't go that far, right? Where you got to collect food like to survive and right, stuff right, like right. ARC or build build your home. <laughs> but it is. You're just you're you're exploring, and what you're really finding is the remnants of humanity, right? Yeah. Like people. Mm-hmm. You know what are they doing? What's you're going seeing on? What happened, what happened at the time yeah. of the explosion? You know, and like how things you know have survived Went, after. Yeah, exactly. You know it's what I mean? So like, cool. Yeah, like coming across certain towns that haven't really been touched that much. You know, they've just aged. But they, you know, they caught a bit of the blast, but, you know, people just left it behind, you know, because of the the nuclear cloud and all that. Yeah. And I think like like Bethesda said, like um, there's like a large percentage. I don't know the exact number, but there's like a large percentage of really neat stories and things that people never see in the Fallout games. And they put them there anyways. Like they take the time. Bethesda takes the Are they time. Are like side quests? They're just stuff, side or? things. Not gotcha. even, they're like quests, but they're like just side events. Gotcha. Like, I'll never forget it, dude. Like, you'll come across a random blown up city. Has nothing to do with the quest line. You just, oh, that look at that in the background. That's a city over there. I'm not going to go over there, right? And so you kind of go in that direction. And I come across a freaking broken pirate ship in the ground. And there's a bunch of freaking robots manning it like a pirate ship. And they, think cool. and they think yeah. they're pirates yeah. and i'm like what the heck and they have like this little storyline yeah you know yeah, you're there's doing so things. much random you're going and collecting like a cannonball and stuff and then when the whole thing's over like they activate their engine and they lift off the ground and then fly off into the sunset dude and dope. then they crash again right right and right. then you can and actually you can go and it's like an island them. and you can go back to the thing where it crash landed and right. like look at it again and collect things out. Oh, yeah yeah you start picking like, off like, the bodies dude, and stuff like this that. had nothing to do with the storyline there was no side quest from a town that took me there right i just stumbled upon Apo- this across thing, the way, dude. Yeah. and like that happens all the time in fallout and like that's the thing that's so cool that a lot of people wanted from fallout 76 that you don't really get from fallout 76 right and that's mostly because you didn't have like the npc you didn't have people yeah, in the so, world, you know? I mean, you had like maybe like a couple of robots sprinkled here and there that would maybe have like a like couple some of little dialogue, lines, but yeah. you know, it it was you missed those random interactions, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you can you can tell some stories through notes and and little Dude, things like, that are laid yeah. around, but you need NPCs, man. <laughs> I'll never forget you and I had out. the exact same experience on Fallout New Vegas, right? We were walking, we were just walking down the road, you know, going to the next location because you gotta like run everywhere, yeah. yeah, especially New Vegas. And some dude comes running out from the middle of nowhere, like he comes running out from like the desert. He's like, "Woo, yeah, I got the lotto I ticket. The lotto ticket. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 hit I hit it. I hit, I it. hit the lotto." And he yeah. stops and it like, forces us into a dialogue, right? Like you can't. And like and once he comes into the city, it just turns your screen and you're talking with this guy. That's tight. And you're like, what Wait, happened, what'd you win? man? What'd you win? <laughs> I won the lotto, man. I got it. I won all the cash. He's like super excited. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, oh, that's good for you, man. Good for you. Why don't you hand that over to me? Right? Yeah. And you start talking to him. He says, no, he runs away. You just kill the guy. Yeah. And you just lose the body. <laughs> yeah. I or think, you can let him go. I think you, got, you, like the, go. you yeah. got like the option of like, oh, that's mine. You know, yeah, so, <laughs> you just so, shoot him dead. Oh, you want it for me, right? Yeah. yeah so I'm like, it. <laughs> and it used to be dope, too, because you would have the, uh, like the, the primo cheat was to unlock the stranger while you were playing. So once you unlock the stranger, a random shot, the stranger will come out the corner. And oh, like, yeah, the stranger And then power, just kill yeah. him. And, and, you know, out it's like of a nowhere, he would win it. So, it, yeah. yeah, like you could be at like a 35% chance of hitting and shoot, and then here come the stranger. You know what I mean? And yeah. he already's you dead. So. I think that perk is available in For the Stranger. I think. Oh, okay. So yeah. look, it's the pretty Stranger fun. was always it's a dope cool, one to get. But yeah, I do remember like when I played Fallout 3, I remember there was like a little boy running, asking me for help or something like <laughs> yeah. that. And I think I was like, I don't want to help yeah. you. And I just remember he was like following me until I left like a particular area. Uh-huh. But that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I, that game was just... I, I wasn't used to those kind of like role-playing games. So it just kind of overwhelmed me. And I didn't know what I was getting into. So I just like... Eh. I'm I'm done with this game. Yeah. You know, it's cool. Yeah, but, I could see that. But uh, but, but now like you know, in, man. but now I think you know my mind ship kind of my mindset kind of shifted. So you know that'd be cool. But it does remind me, I definitely uh like in when I played Fallout seventy six with you guys. Yeah. Now I see why you were kind of building your settlement because mm-hmm. before I was like what is this? And I built, you know, a little workbench. I built a store. I was like, what is all this crap? What does this have to do with the game? Oh, it's just my little town. But yeah. now I see, oh, okay, before you see, did now you want to hop back into 76, now you get it. Yeah. Right. And the exactly. perks and things, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, this is all kind of making yeah. sense. Yeah. I, I kind of see where mm-hmm. these things uh, 
you know all came from yeah yeah so For sure so yeah that's what that's what i was playing what about you golly ah oh, man so um for the majority of the time i've been playing uh spider-man so i decided the original og no 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 it's miles morales oh, okay. okay so i decided all right i'm almost done with this this storyline so i want to pick this town clean i want to get everything i want to nice. see if i can platinum this game okay all right so um of course i was nearsighted so i didn't see the bigger picture i had tunnel vision i thought that all i needed to do was get the rest of the costumes and then get the uh the extra little um uh abilities and stuff like that that you can switch on right. your on your suit or whatever so um i had beat the story and everything and then i decided all right i'm gonna go start a new game plus and then I figure if I can do that first little main, you know, mission or whatever you get in, all I have to do is do all of the extra little quests in the phone. And I should have enough to be able to get my suits Dude. and those little those little <laughs> oh, attachments man. or whatnot. So I did that. I had two left. I managed to get all the suits and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, damn, there's no platinum trophy. What else am I forgetting? Oh, I forgot those stupid little things like the web shooter and the dumb drone and stuff like that. I still, but they're like 20 a piece. So like I have to do the story uh, and and probably uh, some of the crimes just to be able to get enough, you know, to to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. So I think I have to literally like three out of three, um, you know, token, you know, I have to like do everything, you know, to the max. You could you know, have done a lot of that though on your normal playthrough. But do you have I two did. save files I, I by mean, chance? I mean, I did by yeah, I had to because you do the save, one and then you have to there's a save, save file it again trick. for new game plus. So you don't spend any because I was gonna try to platinum Spider Man. So I read a I read a, a, a trophy guide that says don't spend any of your challenge tokens. Don't spend anything. Just beat the game. Yeah. And then make two save files. One save file upgrade all, buy all the suits. Uh -huh. And then you get the trophy, ding, and then go on your other save file and upgrade all your all your you know gadgets. Mm. So then you don't have to do any extra missions. Interesting. Okay, so, so you, you, you just go between your save files. So if you can go on your quick save and see if you can get an old save file before you spend all your tokens, yeah, it makes it easier. So you don't have to go and you know max out all the challenges and all the the little you know okay. mini games and stuff. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, so I, I beat the game. I think I was like on New Game Plus. Like no, no, on the on, on the, the first regular, one or okay. whatever. And then I got on New Game Plus. I I I got through like the majority of the phone uh, quests and stuff like that. You know, and got all of the the two things. I got quite a few trophies from doing that stuff. I think I was maybe at like ninety percent done with the game. You know what I mean? Like I literally just needed to get like a few more things, and I would have been completely done. My dumbass decides to look at this error that's been popping up on my uh, notification. Um, it says that it can't sync for some weird reason my game save files to my cloud files. So I click on it like uh, that's weird. So what is what do I have to do to fix this or whatever you know? So I click on it, and it tells me it gives me an option: console or save data, like cloud. So I'm thinking like, oh, it wants me to like, you know, sync it with my cloud so that I can have everything synced up. You know what I mean? So I pick the cloud. Erases everything that I've done in the damn game since like Oh, because like you had two an weeks. old cloud save. I had an old and cloud save with... and it replaced it. Oh, it replaced my, gosh, my console dude. save, which had like the 90% work I did oh, with the old cloud gosh, save. So now I'm back dude. at 64. I still have uh, the, um, the, the areas for the underground that haven't been done. And I cleaned all this shit out. So I was um F this. I'm done. I'm done. I'm yeah, done. I'm, done. I'm, I'm not platinum yeah, in this. I'm, done. I'm not yeah, platinum. For in this. sure. For sure. So I, yeah, I yeah. left, I got out. I was like, all right, it's Valhalla time. So <laughs> yeah. I I played Valhalla yeah. for a little bit and then um uh you know Dude, it was my wife's birthday. Dual so. spears, man. Dual spears? Get your hand on two two spears. So Those get to work? the point where you can dual hand two handed weapons. Yeah. And get two spears. Okay. Those oh, put in work. Mm. I can't okay. even tell you. It's ridiculous. Can songs. you throw the spears? I don't think you can. Okay. They're just like, and you're like, they're dead. 
Dead. It's crazy okay. strong. Dude. I don't think I've even come across spears, so I'm gonna have to uh, yeah, keep that search, in mind. Like, look for the spears. Oh yeah, buy a spear. Maybe there's like a legendary but, spear or something like that. Like yeah, get. but and then like look at the map for where the other spears are at, mm -hmm. and like upgrade them or snag them, dude. It's yeah, so good. So that's just my tip for you there. Okay, yeah. And so, that dodge ability, you got that dodge ability, right? I got the dodge with the yeah. slow. Yeah, man, that uh, the 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 small like one handed axes. Those are sick too. When you too. hold the left hand, you just yeah, you, 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 I like, saw hack them down, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like you put it work on those. Dude, dudes. the one handed axes are pretty OP too. The spears are more OP, but the uh -huh. one handed bearded axes are really cool. Yeah, too. I can only imagine if you just poking away like super lightning fast while they're sitting there in slow motion. You know what I mean? They're just about to be done up. Dude. But um, slow yeah, motion so. changes. It makes the game joke easy, you know. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm gonna uh, be playing now, and then I'm gonna attempt to to beat that before i hop into anything else um i nice. think it's gonna be a little while before there's another game that i really want to play um i probably i probably will pause it around like the 25th or whatever or i think the 28th uh medium comes out so i'll probably check nice. that out just to see it and right. give like my you know first impressions right. opinion on it um but other than that i'm gonna try to to beat Valhalla next, like I said, I I've pretty much given up on Spider Man after. Oh, I agree. After man. I, I get decimated it. Totally. My, my save, totally, man. That's and like I don't depressing. even know why it didn't just automatically do that. But I've been seeing those errors recently hmm. on it while I was playing because it couldn't save like a picture that I took or something like that to Miles the cloud. Miles Morales, man. But you can go. On, Seems like there's like many issues on with there Miles that Morales. Were really yeah, I haven't had any issues except with you Miles can't Morales. try to look. Yeah. You can't look at your local <laughs> saves because I mean, normally it does a qu bunch of quick saves. You can't see if any of the quick saves are like right before that happened. So when I went back in, like, uh, because I had to close. Right. So I saved mm -hmm. and then I closed and I had two saves on there because it was the original game and it was a new game plus save that I created. And so I saved before I quit, but I had to quit in order to check out the error mm -hmm. and then do the resyncing thing. So between me doing that, it literally just erased all my shit. So when so, you go to load game, there's only one save from the cloud. It's literally only one yeah. save. When I'm in the that's, train yeah, and, and, Mark, and so. Miles goes uh, to look at his phone, gone, it's literally just the 64%. Like, that's dirty, that's and I was crazy. like, what? Are you kidding dude. me? Like, I, it, nothing. It's just gone, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. So dude. I was just devastated. I was like, dude, that sucks. Bro. I was literally I putting that. in time. That's you know what I mean? crazy. And I was starting to feel it. Like, I've already done this. Like, I did everything. I did all the quests and stuff. on the brink. Like, I don't want to do these over again. Yeah, and I had wow. I, because I had done it right after the first mission. You know, your first your first phone quest is to go and see your uncle. So it's like I have no uh, subway station uh, fast travels at all. So I have I literally have to swing across the map for every one of these phone things. And I swung across the map to do them all because I didn't want to do any more missions, main missions, just to get, you know, start getting subway stations unlocked right. and things. And then I lost all that shit just because of that in the blink of an That's eye. That's depressing, bro. That sucks, man. Sorry to hear that. I was just up, like, man, dude. Gracious, man. I was just like, damn. So, um, yeah, so Valhalla is what I've been playing. <laughs> nice. Um, you know, you still as have Legions, of a right? Days. You still have Watch Dogs Legions wrapped up, or did you get rid of yeah, that? Yeah, Watch Dogs Legions is still yeah. uh, wrapped up. I haven't opened it up yet. So once I finish uh, Valhalla, Valhalla, you'll swap. I'll, yeah. I'll, you'll I'll you'll enjoy Legion. Legions. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, man, and uh, yeah, I was just, I was just shattered. That's I don't that, man. I can't. That makes you want to throw your controller against the wall, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's terrible. I wanted to I'm punch. Hours, yeah, I, I wanted to I punch know. something. I get it, man. <laughs> I would too, dude. But on to bigger and better news, yeah. right? So we got Ubisoft and Lucasfilms. Mm -hmm. And they have tangled together to decide to create this awesome marriage, which would be the Star Wars franchise. And they're going to do like an open world type of game. And of course, we have nothing to actually look at. It was just a picture. <laughs> That's all it was. Surprise, a couple surprise, of surprise. couple of people it's in some Star Wars costumes. It's just good news. Such good news. Yeah, because EA news. finally lost the rights finally, to the Star dude. Wars games. Thank goodness. How long man. has it been, dude? Because they made Nice Little Republic, right? Like they had it it's for been a like, long time. It feels like time. eternity. It's yeah. been a cool decade. I can't imagine a time when they didn't have the rights, dude. right? Like I can't imagine a time before the time when they or had at the least rights, exclusive right? rights because they may yeah, still they have the rights, but rights. just not exclusive. Maybe so it's like finally, man. Thank goodness, because man. they've kind of been. I don't know. Like I said, 
Fallen Order was good, but it could have been like so much better. And of course, Battlefront Two is absolutely a, flop, a mess, atrocious. Yeah, mess. Mm. Also, I think uh, Fallen Order just recently got uh, the Xbox Series X oh, update uh, and PlayStation Five like okay. upgrade. Ooh. So I think Dude, it I heard, should like, be running Xbox better. Series X has like 130 games already upgraded to like PS2 to Series X. That's dope. Really? incredible. That's mm. way better than That's PS5. Impressive. Yeah. But um, anyways, and also that they teamed up with Ubi. Because, you know, That's Ubi, good... for me, I love their open yeah, world yeah, games. You do. Like, I'm a huge fan of their open That's world true. games. Like, I talk about them all the time. Yeah. Like... Tell me why I kept seeing uh, <laughs> posts from people on Twitter and whatnot, and they were showing, like, uh, Mandalorian <laughs> with, like, an Assassin's Creed background. <laughs> oh, please, man. That'd be sick, dude. <laughs> like, you have the Assassin <laughs> blade. <laughs> dude, totally, right? Like, and then also, Star Wars, we, we've never had an open world. Star Wars game before, nope. dude. I mean, Coder. I mean, oh, Coder. Yeah. Nice no, Coder world. is kind of yeah. open world, kind of. Right, Knights of the Republic. Just in case you don't yeah, Knights of the Republic kind of is, but it, it's definitely you go to like to like a zones, right? It's not right. like just one big open like thing. Right, right. It's like whatever yeah. planet you're on. Right, you do you're kind of like planet. go open and do. You kind of have you kind of have freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like it was the first of like choice and freedom. And then we had Swotor, the MMO. Which oh, was sword, a yeah. flop. That was at a that total time, flop, dude. At that time, they spent the most out of any game. And there's something like, oh, if this game doesn't make it, then we don't know about, you know, because we they at the time, they spent the most out of any game hmm. by a couple times. Like, normal games, multiply it's that times it was a couple. because Star Wars title. They were betting big on that one. But Did that game, I, I played it on day one. I played it for, like, the first month. I should month. have known, dude. And, MMOs, uh, you are the king of MMOs, man. So I played it, and I just wasn't satisfied with the game. Um, back to wild. But I think you guys... <laughs> right, back to wild. I think you guys would have liked it, though, because... Because it the, was that reason, trash? No, 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 no. The reason why I didn't like it... The reason why I didn't like it is, like, you, you know how... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, it, great, it, it, you know how when you go do a oh, quest, man. like, oh, go kill 10 rats. You know, go to yeah. in World of Warcraft. I can right. just, I don't need to read why I need to kill these 10 rats. But in Soul Tour, it's like, hi, sir. Um, like, it's kind of like a, a Fallout. Oh, a and, and, and you have to answer, like, how you reply to them. Oh, okay. And I was like, just to kill 10 rats, I got to do all this dialogue. Because, Pass. because that's what Kotor was. Kotor so was choice. It, was so I had a lot of that. And it just took too long to do remedial tasks, and I was not interested. Mm. Um, the PvP was okay. The PvP was actually pretty fun because you could level through the PvP. Maybe Kotor was Bioware. Bioware was. I think. Okay, so it wasn't EA then. Anyways. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I think, think it was I think, Bioware. Yeah. I think you guys probably would have uh, enjoyed it more. Yeah. yeah. I think you guys would have kind of liked that. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm super pumped that. Uh, you know, it's like finally, and they made like their own. Like it's a big deal, right? Lucas Films Games. Right, they're partnering now mm-hmm. with other developers, not like giving the rights away. Right, right, so they right, have right. their own. Because I think studio. the other ones were strictly just EA, EA, right. uh, you know, total, Star total, Wars game. total control. Right, right, like total visionary control. You EA know? and Activision or something like that. Yeah. Wasn't it? What yeah. was Battlefront? Battlefront is EA. Yeah. Okay. EA. It was strictly EA. Just there was EA. no Activision. Yeah, there's no Activision. Okay. I don't think. So. Yeah. yeah. And Battlefront, I bought that like the well, the first month it came out, and um. Me too. That was a flop. It was just too. too it was, I mean, now it's a great game. And if you guys is have, it good now? Battlefront Two, right? Yeah, Battlefront Two is good now. So and Battlefront Run was great. Battlefront I enjoyed One was Battlefront fantastic. Run. That was wonderful. Um, Battlefront Two was whack at launch. It was just free last week on the Epic. But Store. they've made it better oh. now, or what? They made it better because there's no gimmicks. You just like you don't get loot boxes. You, it's just the game how it should be. Oh, okay. You know, there's there's no like you know modding. The one thing that I hated about Battlefront 2 was it was hard to get the upgrades, man. Yeah, it's none of that. It's so hard. It's none of that anymore. It sucked the life out of you, man. Like you can, It was a grind. It was, ter- it it was made it. such a grind, man. And a game like that shouldn't be a grind. I think uh, I, I'm, I'm ashamed to say this, but I think that's probably the only game. You gave you gave me that game. For I gave like you that Christmas. one. Okay. Yeah, you got me Battlefront 2 for Christmas. And that's probably the only game that I've never actually played. Like I really, I, you didn't even I play attempted it. Attempted to, I attempted to play it, but then like something else would come up, and I, I just didn't want the daunting of like being on that battlefield. Dude, I, I, I would have seen that it was like, like, like Call of Duty. You it know was like mean? a love hate, uh huh, because it, it felt so good. Like when you're playing it as a trooper, yeah, I still like, have it. It by felt the way. like a great Star Wars battle, yeah. But the feeling of like hopelessness when you're trying to like get the upgrades or the thing that you need to like upgrade yeah. and build your character seems like it's a long have the terrible. Yeah, and then like to unlock the hero classes, you had to like yes. So if someone you know had the OP heroes, they're just mobbing people, mm-hmm. and if you only have you know Chewbacca or something, 
You know, you're not. <laughs> you know, yep. well, I thought Chewbacca was like awesome sauce, man. He's trash. No, he's pretty good, but compared to like you know Vader or something, come on. It was such you a know? letdown. But dude. I thought there was only like one Vader allowed on the field. Yes, but if you don't even have Vader, you don't even got the opportunity oh, to like okay. spawn as right. Him. Ah. You have so, to get Vader. So okay. it was just not right. You know, um, the only mode I liked on it was the you know the ship battling. That was fun. Starships, um, yeah. But I think that was even a grind because you didn't get all the yeah, ships. Yeah, that was a grind too. It's like, dude, screw all that. I know. I remember I was like that. I was like, I was like, all right, I'm playing it, and I was putting in time, dude. I was, I enjoyed it. But I was getting so annoyed. I remember one day I was like, you know what? Done. Over it. And I turned that thing off and I never fired it up ever again, man. <laughs> Me too. I never played it again. I just like yeah. you, I walked away. I'm done. Yeah, I'm uh I'm definitely excited for uh let me not lie and say that I'm excited. Let me say that I'm curious to see what they'll come up with. Because uh I do like Star I'm Wars. Excited. I'm not I'm a excited. super huge fan of Star Wars. Um, but I do like it, you know, and I will follow it. You know, I enjoyed Mandalorian um, oh, both seasons show. and whatnot. It's a good and, show. You know, I've watched the movies Amazing. and stuff. Um, but like, if you were to ask me a whole bunch of shit about the lore, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, but I'm I'm curious to see. This is supposed to be an open world, so I'm curious to see how they will take this. If this is anything so much similar here. or you know remotely close to Coder, which was one of my favorite ones. Then I'm definitely here for it, but if it's if it starts to it's lean not gonna towards be like, like Battle coder or where it's like, like an RPG like that, I don't think. No, where you're like turn based. What kind of open world? Do you I hope think it's it would more be like live action. I think it, right? so. It should be like Odyssey Origins. Yeah, Ball like live, where your battles are live action. I think okay. not like where you're pausing the screen and like selecting abilities and stuff. Right. I think it's gonna be like yeah, like I'm thinking Fallout. I'm I'm I mean uh, Far Cry. I'm okay. thinking. Assassin's Creed. That's what I'm thinking. Just completely that be cool. open that live cool. action battling. Right. I um, can't wait to be a space wizard. You know, I wouldn't Think mind. I wouldn't around. mind my choices being, uh, you know, their consequences and things like that. Is what I mean. You know, like that type of oh, gameplay oh, so you turn maybe, the dark side like maybe yeah. based on your decisions. Oh, you know, you know, like if you're I'm just sure. if you're just a regular guy, you know what I mean. Who's who's then in, in contact with the force, but then you know your path. You can choose your path. That'd be sick. And how you react, like. And, you know, and if it does, like, anything kind of like Fable or, like, the old, you know, old ones where, you know, you start getting the horns on your head, the more evil you're doing, mm-hmm. you know, your your face is getting gray and crusty with cracks and things <laughs> like that because the dark side is taking you over. Like, I want that is what I mean. That sounds oh, cool. And, like, if I, dark, if I dark, get that, if I, yeah, I'm going to go whatever, dark yeah. if I if I have I'm sure they'll do something but, like that. I can't imagine why they wouldn't. I'm sure they might. But, right. I mean, just think about it, like. How fun is Valhalla, right? Like, how fun is Odyssey? Like, it's going to be fun like that. Right. And you're going to have a vast open world to explore. That's and it. it's going to be in space, dude. That sounds awesome. Yeah, so like, I, that's I the type wait. of stuff that I, I'm looking forward dude, to. Do different that sabers I to collect? More. Like, that legendary awesome, sabers? Dude. Can you wait for that, Those kyber dude? crystals and dude, stuff? Like, like, if you can just, like, search for yeah. those and cool, find man. those and Dual wielding sabers or, like, the staff sabers? And like, I don't, it's going to be really cool. I don't even mind if it's, like... You know, like some people might be like, oh, it's, it's, you know, I, I would love for it to be like canon or whatever, but I don't mind if they put like stupid shit in there. You know yeah. what I mean? Like a rainbow kyber crystal I don't or mind something either. that can I make would like if it's canon saber, too, like, though, but I don't mind either. Either right. way, I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. So they do something ridiculous, right? Just something yeah. ridiculous. And but just I just, like... I want to see, you know, you know, some gameplay or something like that, or like a trailer, an actual trailer, not just like a picture. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, once again, it's not, it's not coming out until possibly 2022. It may be pushed back to 2023. I would think 2022 at the earliest, yeah, Yeah, at the earliest. Yeah, I would think it's more inclined to be at 2023. Yeah, Um, I hope it's not that far away because I'm pretty excited for it. Oh, yeah. But but I I, I guess it really depends on the team, right? Because you got, you know, you got Yeah, it's one of their teams. I think it's it's pretty big. I thought it was the one that made Far Cry. I don't know. It's one of their teams, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. but that could be their next thing, considering that Far Cry should be very close. It's to pretty being coming done out yeah. soon, right? Going Far Cry is coming out, coming out like in May, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. I think it's May. So yeah, it's really it comes close. out this year. But you know, they yeah. they choose to go like gold like a month before right. or whatever. Right. You know? Yeah, it'll so, go gold. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, I mean, but that that looks great. And then you know, awesome. another you know tidbit of surprising news was that Bethesda. You know, we were talking about Fallout. Mm-hmm. You know, Ubisoft earlier, but, and now Bethesda. Yeah, awesome. but Bethesda is actually you know bringing out an Indiana Jones. Game. I know what that's we, dope. And man. that's I got to get your opinion on this, Mark. Yeah, that perplexes me because I don't know exactly. I know what way I'm you can go way, like, what, with Indiana. What Jones, is this going to you know? be? Like an Uncharted, right? But Uncharted. 
But like at the same time, so. right? When right. you look at everything that Bethesda's done, um, they don't follow like a typical storyline, you know, like, you know, point A to D and then you have B and C. But that's you know would what I mean? be how I would envision but it. That's how you would. Yeah, that's envision how you would think that, game. Yeah. that this game would go. Right. But, you know, Bethesda's always been like, you know, go off the beaten path, you know, go search here, go look there. There's random shit. Tomb so, Raider. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm interested to see. Will this be like the first game that Bethesda does where they just have like a set pathway that you're following and it's not like open extreme ended, exploration like open type world. of game? Yeah, yeah. extreme exploration. Or is this like yeah. is this like you're really playing Indiana Jones and there's different myths and legends and, and things like that that you can go and track Dang. down and like find? Like Relics that would be and... that would be pretty dope. You know what sick. I mean? Like it if is, you're doing is... like Legends of the the Lost Ark. And you're doing like you know Aztec temples and you know like all this stuff you know Just like, like on another Raider, level right? that like you go find Raider these TV. tombs and you explore them yeah and collect the loot from them right well is that is that how like the newest one is the, that's how Tomb Raider is I mean the, it's the new Tomb been Raider the way. Shadow one or whatever all the last three have been that way and well, kind of the, like the read the reboot the yeah one. the chart is kind of like a little bit that way too I thought that. Where well, you find tombs, yeah, right. But I thought I thought it wasn't and, like you're yeah. exploring the tombs. I thought that you know that you have like a, a some incident happens and you're like the last one that I played. The incident happened and you're like trying to survive. No, the, just the as you're going through the game, um, it's like Tomb Raider's kind of open world, but not quite. Uh huh. It's more open world than Uncharted is. Okay. But you're like moving through like zones of the world. Yeah. And as you go into a zone of the world. Um, you just kind of explore it, and sometimes you come across like a pathway that will take you down into like a dark avenue, and all uh -huh. of a sudden you found a hidden tomb. But you, you still had a main storyline that you were following. Yeah, right? and you enter the tomb, and you're inside the tomb, and there's like a transcript at the top that you want, uh -huh. but you have to do all this stuff to get there. So it's like a puzzle. Okay, so you have to gotcha. you have to solve this big puzzle, and it's a lot of fun. And then you get there, and you get this sweet item for doing it. Okay. And then, like, you leave, and then you want to go to the next one to find the next tomb. Like, that's one of but the funnest still on parts one about island. Tomb Raider is finding the tomb. Are you yeah, still you're still on, like on one the island? one island, uh -huh. and you have a story, and the tombs aren't part of the story. Right. But you, but that's one of the best. That's one of the funnest parts of Tomb Raider okay. is finding the hidden lost tombs. Yeah. And exploring them and getting the loot that you find in them. That's like one of the funnest parts. And so I can see um, Bethesda doing something like that, and even having maybe be a little more open world. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of tombs, and you kind of like just go in and you're finding them as you're like kind of like Fallout. Yeah. Um, but it is weird, right? Bethesda, that they chose Bethesda to do this one because I can only think of like first person shooters and open world ended, you know, exploration games that Bethesda does, right? They do and like Indiana Wolfenstein. Jones is like Lucas Films also, right? Yes, I believe that that's part of Lucas. It's Disney, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it part seems of Lucas games. It seems like Lucasfilms is trying to do something with their uh, with their titles. Dude, their, their they're, IPs they're using they them finally. But I wonder finally, if yeah. I wonder if it's Lucasfilms and Bethesda, or if Lucasfilms just gave the rights. To I think it's Indiana probably Jones both. For Bethesda. Probably both. Like mm -hmm. they didn't give them the rights, but it's it's a partnership, right? We're like right. we want you to make it, but and well, but we're gonna here's some story. vision yeah. that we have towards yeah. it, right? Um, but it's weird because, yeah, I would not think Bethesda would be the studio that you hand that kind of game no. to. Yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely – I mean, we got, like, a tidbit of a trailer, but it was more so just, like, panning and over And does desk. this mean Xbox exclusivity? I was Ooh. I was hearing a lot of people debating being that. Bethesda. But I think, I think that being Xbox, um, that they're more so looking for profits than they are yeah. for exclusivity. They want because, sales, yeah. Because as, as we've seen so far, they're – there hasn't been anything since you know console launch and even before that where there was like an exclusive yeah for a while time so, exclusive probably right, right. At the best. yeah so yeah. yeah I could definitely see it being a time exclusive mm -hmm. um one thing I'm stoked about is that I got game pass so yeah. I get it for free game pass that's so true. um that's crazy that's definitely that's we're gonna get Indiana Jones you're right yeah for free free day one that's yeah nuts. so oh man I can't so that's gonna game be pass. that's gonna be definitely dope um you know so I, I'm looking forward looking forward to see what they're going to create um obviously yeah, sure. this one has been announced as another 2022 game but i could see this one you know releasing I like early 2023 but we'll see yeah i'm I just, just super don't... curious i'm not as excited because i don't know what they're going to do with this i can right when you say star wars and like open world it's like oh dude we know because you have great, things right? to base it off of yeah, but when i think know. indiana jones all I'm thinking of is the Lego Indiana Jones. I'm thinking done. Uncharted. My mind always there. jumps to Nathan Drake and Uncharted. That's what I think. We can only hope. That's what I think of too is Uncharted. Yeah. Um, but 
like you were saying, Bethesda doesn't really make many mm. Uncharted style games. Right. They make Doom, which is awesome, but not similar. Um, so we would assume it's going to be more open orient, you know, open world oriented, which is not a bad thing. I think that would right. be better. Um, and you know, if it's anything like Fallout Four or Skyrim, you know, I'm I don't know much about Indiana Jones. I seen the movies when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. same. But I'm sure there's a lot of lore and things. You know, if you're just searching for treasures and that's hidden fun. stuff, that's, that's awesome, fun, right? Yeah, and that's... you could probably make up a lot of you know. I don't know where this game is going to take place, but I'm sure you could pick a, a region. And then Egypt, man, got to take place. Just, in yeah, Egypt, and just dude. look up the lore. Too much treasure in Egypt, you know, bro. based on real yeah, life America, and things. So. All the myths. Yeah, South America. America. Yeah, yeah. So you could, you know, you could make a lot of content that might not be from the movies, but it just takes place in the same time. You know, dude. Like, what if That'd they kind of like went in a different direction too, and like really had some dope whip combat? That was, that's what I was gonna like, mention. Is like, like God of War, you know, like whip combat. Like he's whipping around. You yeah, know, those chains because he doesn't use guns. Yeah, like he doesn't that. use guns. So I'm yeah. interested to see where he, they'll he take the combat. He could use a gun, though. You could use, yeah, he you could, could use guns. But, I mean, if you're looking at all the other movies, he never once picked up right. a pistol. I don't think. But I he mean, doesn't really he have – he's, he's not really, like, right. fighting a lot of people either in the movies, right? Yeah. right? But he's what if you went in that direction, like, kind of like, like like Odyssey, right? Or, like, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where, like, you're, like – you know, that would be dope. That's a combat system, yeah. and then you could find new whips. Like that'd be fun, right? Yeah, you know, that'd you could like dope. customize your whips. Kind of like, like Castlevania. Flails yeah, that's what I'm thinking yeah. of when, when I watch Netflix Castlevania. Yeah. And Castlevania he's, like, and you're whipping, yeah, with yeah. the whip. Yeah, like, that'd, that'd be, be cool. Like, cool. There's a lot of different directions they can nice. go to. They can go in bad directions too. Like they can mess this up. Yeah, I think this is sure. kind of the game you kind of you you could mess up. Yeah, but if you go in like this kind of open world, like we're talking about, you know, I think the game's on rails, then it won't be as good. Yeah, but, if it's on real, that thing won't be as good. And you, they might go that direction. It won't feel like a, a regular, you know, Bethesda game. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think I think as long as you include exploration, as long as you're able mm-hmm. to explore and there are cool things to you explore, gotta have that. I think yeah, that sure. that's going to be the main thing. Like, you could probably have, like, a shitty mainline story, but as long as you are able to explore and, and treasure find hunt. cool treasures yeah. and different things like that, I think that's what's going to be their bread and butter. And the treasures have to be things that we want to use. Mm-hmm. I don't want to just go tr- find a treasure For and it's just a trinket something? that goes into my collection relic, you know, slot on my yeah. you know inventory right, screen. Right, right, right. I want it to be something that I can wear, you know, use, activate, whatever it may be, a power. I don't know what, but something that we actually want to use and attain. Yeah, could you, know? you imagine, man? Like, cause you know, like there was like curses and different things like that with like you know the, the lost ark and everything like that. So could you imagine like you know having to figure out like a sequence or like if you missed a step and you go to open up the treasure like that'd be trap crazy. or something like that. That'd you know what crazy. I mean? Like or or like that'd opening really opening up something like you know like the uh the the fountain of youth. You know, like discovering the fountain Dang. of youth and then be able being able to <laughs> get like health out. yeah yeah <laughs> like max health or <laughs> or finding crazy. like the you know like uh, the goblet. I don't even remember what the goblet yeah. was for. I think the goblet might have been for like youth or something like that. Yeah. But you know, being able to follow, find the goblet and drink that. And then be able to get like um, you know invulnerability. Dude, and like, like and like some of the curses are like actually good, and there's like a meta. Like okay, on this one you actually want to fail because this curse Dang. in particular it counteracts like, this curse. Yeah, it counteracts this curse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How cool would that be? Right? Yeah. Like, there's some, like a build. Like, like there's <laughs> dark do these, and yeah. light, right? Where like some of the curses are like more beneficial, like than they are you know detrimental. Yeah. Like and sometimes you might want the curse, right? Or, or being able <laughs> like to... in Skyrim, right? Where you could, because I'm thinking Bethesda, you can like be the werewolf, right? Oh yeah, right, right, and right, like right. that was a curse, but or the vampire, yeah. vampire. but there were some benefits that came fun. along with it yeah. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or being able to like, uh, you know, because in, in all of those, uh, there was always somebody hunting for the treasures as well. So being able to like spring, spring a, a booby trap on on people. You know what I mean? Who are hunting for it? You know to like to deter them or to 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 get rid of them so that you can freely hunt for the treasure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Spring like a curse on somebody or something like that. That type of stuff would be cool too. Yeah, yeah. yeah my favorite ride at Disneyland is hands down the Indiana Jones ride. Yeah. So, dude, if, if <laughs> they could just fun. encompass anything of that ride in the game, I'm pretty excited. You know. Yeah, I just uh, it's so weird because whenever we think of Indiana Jones, we think of the movie. Mm-hmm. And this kind of start to finish on rail story. Right. And so to imagine how it would look in Skyrim, because I'm thinking like my mind always just jumps like to those games like Skyrim, yeah. Fallout, like how does Bethesda, Indiana yeah. Jones stand there 
and think about what direction to go in. Like, right. we're always thinking about him just like going, you pull out a map, the story, of course. Right? Yeah. You know, and you're you like, pull okay, out some where do I go? What then... am I doing? What's the point of this? Right. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what they do, man. I'm really, really curious. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, uh, maybe there's like many, many games of the, like, you know, archaeolog- uh, archaeological digs or something like that, you know, <laughs> yeah. where you're trying to find stuff. That would be dope. Sitting dope. there in the sand, mm-hmm. like, trying to f- find things For and sure. go around. But, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely gonna be that's that's the one out of the two that were announced that I was like really excited for. Yeah, you know what I mean? Too. Like well, I was I, more excited I'm, for Star Wars. I'm, ex- dude. I'm excited to to see what Star Wars will bring. But you're more you excited for I mean? Indiana Jones. But I'm more that's excited for Indiana Jones. That's crazy. Jones, I'll say I'm equally Jones excited for both really of them. You know, I'm more excited for Star Wars. I'm just excited honestly. in general that now other and that too. I'm can excited in general. I think that that's the most. I'm like whoo. They yeah. picked two great studios. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, For my sure. two favorites, probably. For sure. Third party. Of course, I have lots of first party studios yeah. that are my favorites. For sure. That well, are my top favorites. What but... do you think about, like, Indiana Jones and From Software, man? <laughs> that's a great idea, that would be actually. Sick, that would be kind of Actually, crazy. I think that's a great idea. That would be kind of wicked. Yeah, because <laughs> think about it. That's probably real with good idea. Like, with that's your a... decisions and your moves and I stuff. just don't know what the, how the bosses would be, because I don't remember the move. You could yeah, do the bosses. bosses dude. The bosses would essentially be the treasure, right? right? Getting right. to the like treasure the that would be like the puzzle. That'd be the like room. getting to the bonfire, right? Or there's evil spirits, and you gotta like fight the evil spirits, or whatever yeah. it is in the room. But right? I think it'd be like getting to you the bonfire, which is the or like, biggest thing, or even like you know a big Russian or whatever. You know, like as a boss fight or something, like mm-hmm. just some enemy could be a boss fight, yeah. kind of like how Valhalla does it, where you come across like the chieftain, and right, he has right, a health right. bar, and he's just a boss, you know. And you can make those really exciting and fun. They might not be like massive and epic, you know, necessarily, but you could have some that are like that and some that are like, you know, a little more low key, but still tough bosses. Yeah. That's a great idea, though, actually. To be That'd honest. be dope. Because that's like a start to finish kind of, you know, it's on like rails, rails thing, but yeah. it's that's kind okay of open. Yeah. But, it, but, you know, there's exploration, right? And you're yeah. going and finding things. There's like, a lot of exploration. It doesn't have yeah. to be dark, like right. Dark Souls, it could, but it could be like that style, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. That'd yeah. be sick. That's a cool idea. That'd be sick. So uh, I'm sure, you know, you guys saw the, the Cyberpunk apology video right yeah I mean, dude i thought that that <laughs> was, was uh pretty interesting because they've they've written several notes of apologies and posted them but for them to actually take the time throw somebody into the <laughs> into the camera like here's yeah. the face of why we effed up you know what i mean and then have him you know, explain some stuff and apologize and then kind of give like a track layout of what's going to happen mm-hmm. in the near future. You know, I thought that that was uh, interesting. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I felt like it was really needed per se yeah. at this point because it didn't give me like any more, you know, um, faith in their yeah. apology, you know, yeah. than the writing. I think it was completely BS because first off, they say, okay, well, our PC version is like our truest version. Right. Yeah. And okay, the PC yeah, version is a little better. But then they said, "Oh, you know, porting it to the last gen consoles, they are what they are." It's like you announced the game in 2012 before the generation even existed, so you were aware of the specs. You, you know, you announced it in 2012, and then the current last gen came out in 2013. Great point. So you knew what mm-hmm. it was for. So you had years to optimize to scale down Mm -hmm. so that to me that's not an excuse you just pick that out of thin air because all the reviews reflected that accordingly like oh on the ps4 it's garbage on this is garbage Mm -hmm. so they just made they ran with that as like they ran with it like oh that was the issue um so that i didn't like i thought it was unnecessary the only thing i liked is that we know that there's going to be free dlc because they had it on the timeline. So there's free D- DLC coming out this but year. But my question is, is that the original DLC or is it just some, like junk they're going to give us? See, mm. that brings a great question. You're right. I didn't that think about that. That was my first thought. That could just be stuff that they had he to scale back. He didn't go into any detail on what that stuff is. Not at all. But, and, I mean, I, I did hear that they were doing DLC, you know, a while back. But it was also like right at the beginning of uh, all of the complaining and whatnot but i did hear that they were doing free dlc which is why i had told you guys i was going to hold off on finishing it because Mm -hmm. i wanted to wait for the free dlc and whatnot so i mean uh there might have been just one and now that sounds like there's multiples it didn't seem like it was in relation to their screw up though no to me yeah it just seemed like in the path these are the things that we're doing and free dlc is one of them and then the next 
uh, console ports are coming, you know, by the end of this year. Dude. Which, dude, why is that taking so long? That's my, ridiculous. In my opinion, they should have just released the PC, and then when the when that transition was ready, released both the consoles. Like, hey, it's for PS4 and PS5 at the same time. You know, with the optimization for PS5 and Xbox Series X. So, I'm just yeah, kind of. I agree 100 percent with Mark. I thought this was bull. Um, it's like. Oh, here's our apology, but then here's all the things that you guys just don't realize. You <laughs> yeah, don't realize we all these things that we had to do. Not. And if you knew all these things, you'd be, it's like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, an apology is like, you know what? No, we messed up and here's something for it. That's all they needed to do. He didn't need to go into details about all the difficulties they he had. He started giving you the excuses. And, so you could yeah, he started giving us all them. the yeah. excuses, right? Kind of like, you know, telling us all the reasons why that we should understand. Yeah. It's like, no. You at every dude, honestly, you should have just waited until holiday 2021. And because clearly, if the PS5 version isn't even available until June or until later, way then late. it would have been available holiday 2021 and everything <laughs> would have been fine. I can't, I can't fathom as long as you push this back, right? Because this was supposed to be like early 2020, you know what I mean? Giving us like a good amount of time to play this before the console's even released. And then you pushed it back and then you pushed it back again until like we're already like into the consoles releasing. And, you know, and this is coming out like week of, you know what I mean? So, you know that there's a brand new console and that people would want to play the brand new version and be able to experience the yeah. brand new. Specs I don't even know if game. I believe him when he says they started with the PC model and like worked backwards. It's like no way, dude. Like, kind of what Mark was saying. How was the that PS5 makes not no ready? Sense, then, off top. dude. Yeah, that makes yeah, that sense. makes zero sense. The PS5 should have been like right there. That literally should have been the next version that they were working on. Yeah, and if then you, worked exactly. on the, P, the if PS4. If you could do PC, then that. PS5 should be just easier yeah. to port, right? Because you're working with the better specs of the PC, which basically PS5s and Xbox Series Xs are. They're mm-hmm. just modern day high end PCs, yeah. mid high end, right? Right. It should be a simple port. It should have been a small step down, and then you've got the PS5. But they can't, for some reason, do that, and they're spending six months fixing the game because we're not getting any new port to the PS5 until it's had second half of the year. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just spending the whole first round just fixing their game. This is a total screw-up, dude. Yeah. um, You know, like, I was looking at the timeline, and, you know, it's like, okay, I could have sworn that they were supposed to be doing a lot more by February than what that timeline showed. It showed that they were doing, you know, uh, towards like February, the first the first update, you know, and then a second update was going to be somewhere shortly after that. And But then to tell me that I, I literally have to wait damn near like a whole half a year just to be able to play it on the PS5, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, dude, that's we don't even, so trash. Dude, and he didn't even tell us like June. He just said second half yeah, of the year. second quarter. That could mm-hmm. be yeah. holiday <laughs> next year, dude. Yeah, we don't so, know when in the second half we're going to be getting that port. I don't I don't know, man. I'm it's just, just a, so It's just a little frustrating. It yeah. seems like you'd be working ass backwards, right? Like if if I'm PlayStation and I know I'm dropping this new console, I need as many games on this console that are able to showcase how great this console is. So if I've, if I've, you know, if you're telling me, Hey, I'm making a game for you. Okay. Don't make it for the older consoles first. Make sure that this new console has this because people are buying these things. They have a choice between two, two different consoles, like make it so that there's even more of an undeniable reason that they should buy my console because this game is coming out for it first. And then in like a month or two, they're going to release it for the PS4 and, and uh, pro and then the four or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the five should have been like its priority. Like, it seems like, oh, yeah. you know, they made, they made the PC version it's priority and even then yeah but even then but like i was saying up. like i was saying they started development in 2012 yes. yeah. when that ps3 was out right, and right, xbox right. 360 so their eyes should have been on next gen the ps4 and that should have been perfect you yeah. know you had all this time you know you had eight it plus does not years add up, dude, dude that does not add up Mm-mm. that especially for them to be in such circle, a crunch dude. time because you're right they were working with ps3s at that time when they first announced it and we knew it was going to be next gen Yes. And now it's next gen, next gen. It doesn't make any sense. Dude. I don't. It doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. Um. And he, you know, he kept going back on talking about re- review scores. How the the scores were high on PC, 
but they it's like come on, we dude. don't give a damn about I don't I don't care thing. about the scores dude yeah, like don't care clearly about you scores. guys are obsessed yeah. with the scores and they were basing everything off scores it's like dude you could tell when the game is buggy enough to release or not has something to do with the review scores yeah they were yeah. T- they were talking about they were getting uh you know they had testing and stuff like that but it 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 it's kind of mind boggling that you wouldn't have <laughs> People testing it on every damn machine that it's ever going to be <sighs> on. Like, why wouldn't you have them trying it out on a PS4, trying it out on a PS4 Pro, and trying it out on the PS5, as well as the PC? Um, uh, there was plenty of, of, of people going on record and stating that they were only given a PC copy of the game. Right. And that some people were like, oh, well, I play console. I don't even play, you know, uh, the PC version. So... Like I, I don't even want it. Like, don't give it to me because I'm and not. And then we playing learned the that 2018 version. demos, we that like just dropped before the show started. Mm-hmm. That the devs are saying the 2018 demos they showed the press were fake. <laughs> like the vast majority of it was a oh fake my. demo. So it was just like generated or something like that. It's just like fake. Yeah, it was just assets that weren't ever going to be used. They were never Damn, intended to be dude. used in the game, and they just showed it off anyways. Yeah. To hide the bugs. Damn. It's just a total, total, yeah. total. Because I mean, I think it's safe to say we know that creating anything is complicated. Yeah, creating any piece of work, you know, whether it's something physical, you know, you're building a table or a game. Like we know, cr- the creating process is is, uh, is difficult. Yeah. So you don't need to say all this stuff. We understand. I feel like the part that people don't majority of us, I'm sure there's probably yeah, yeah. that just don't even understand. But yeah. but when you're charging a premium price tag. And then acting afterwards, like, oh, like it's a, they should have just released PC first. Don't, don't keep pushing it back. Don't keep pushing it back. Just say, hey, at this time, only the PC is coming out. We want to optimize next gen. So the console one is going to come out when that comes out. (laughs) So they should have done some crap like that because I'm sure the QA team internally they had obviously played on the PS4 and the Xbox One. Oh my. So whoever they, whoever they gave the stamp approval, hiding it. whoever gave the stamp of approval of that crap, dude, they need to get fired or they need, dude, because just think about it, people in the company played that version and mm-hmm. said, yeah, this is safe to go to market. The only dude. the only possible thing I could think is that they were sitting there playing on like uh like there's nothing like, to uh, think, dude. They like knew the, it. the dev the dev units, you know, the ones that are like super juiced. You know, like the prototypes no, that man. they that they give out to some of these developers and whatnot. So like oh maybe their God. PS4 was no like way. a PS4 Pro juiced. Even that, or the but... Pro's not good. <laughs> Dude, the Pro version's Whoever messed up. Tried the Pro the game was much inside. better than the four, but it, it was still, still getting was, dropped it, into the teens it frame rates. It was still hurting. many issues. Because this is COVID era, so people are extra lenient. If you could, if you would have just kept Dude. postponing the game, postponing the game. This is the one time that you can because everyone's doing it. You literally have you know? a legit excuse. COVID got us. COVID, yeah, sorry. He got COVID, too, and his yeah. apology. Well, if that's the case, then slow it down, dude. Yeah. yeah. Wait till next year to release it. Yeah. Why do we care? Because they released The Witcher. Their resume was great. Right. They didn't have to worry about so, selling g- games. So like Blizzard. They had a great resume back in the day. And exactly. they could push things back indefinitely. And people are like, okay, whenever, whenever it's ready. So you guys had the resume to do that. You're in the position. To keep pushing it back, keep pushing it back, and people would have still hyped for it. But you got greedy, essentially. Hmm. So Okay, so something just came to my mind, right? Uh, CD Projekt Red, I wanted to see if they're publicly traded. So they actually do have stock. So do you think that could have been a possibility that because it's been so long since Witcher 3 came out, and that yeah, CD the Project board Red's done clearly, anything that the board was like, hey, yeah, we need a game out, the board and we should jump on this for the, game for the new, yeah, for the new uh, console release. Yeah, obviously, it's obvious the board made this decision. He even said that in his, it's me, be, me and the board make the decision to release the game. And it's like, dude, you're just admitting you scammed us. Yeah, Scam. so they, they pushed this out knowing that it was it's not terrible. ready. They just wanted you know? money, dude. And yeah. like Blizzard, now it's Activision Blizzard. All the Activision mm-hmm. execs, they they run the games to the ground. You know, like the play, like the Warcraft Three remastered that port garbage. All these other things, like we know how it is. You know, that's why I feel like this is BS. Like people know how it is. Yeah. People, we're not geniuses, but we know. We know you guys want to get profits. So making yeah. these BS excuses, it's all about the money. It's just like it's always all about the money. Almost man. always. 100% yeah. They've definitely the been hit hard in their stocks. 
they were at a peak of like thirty one bucks, and then now now they're down to seventeen dollars. Oh wow, that's huge! So, Damn. Just from that, just from that release. Yeah. <laughs> so, that sucks, man. I mean, How but could they have been so dumb to get. realize that wouldn't happen? That's what you get. But man. like, still, regardless of the shitstorm that the game has gotten, it is a great game. Like yeah. the stuff that's in it. And, you know, I was hearing like, you know, some of the uh, like one of the, the developers or one of the people that work for, for CD Projekt Red was stating that there is so much stuff in this game that has not been uncovered yet. And I believe yeah. that for sure. And, uh, and I heard they I, cut a lot I of see. stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe that's part of what the DLC is, is that, we'll you know, see. they were. I don't know. know they need to just in, give but... away the season pass. Just give the season well, pass away. I don't need a season pass if they're just making everything for free, for sure. They're not but. making everything for free. I'm saying what they had, what they had, whatever they had planned for their season pass. Uh huh. Their content DLCs, so like you content know that drops. You know that there should be free. A DLC that they're charging, that they're going to charge for at the moment. I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea what they're. So doing. You're just assuming in the future. I'm just saying charge. what they should have done is whatever they had planned, mm -hmm. and be very vocal and clear about it. Dude, that would make people so much happy, happier. If you come on and apologize, so you know what? What we had planned for the season pass is going to be free to you guys. Yeah, Dude, that'd be a that good, would fix a, a lot good. of the people's issues. So I know People that... are not mad when they get compensated. Mm -hmm. They yeah. get scooped, but when they get compensated, they're no longer mad. They're very forgiving in anything. You go through the drive-thru, they forgot your burger, and they toss you a free burger and a drink and some fries. You go out, you drive away. Even if they you toss you some fries, fries yeah, even they just toss you some fries, it doesn't like that, matter what they yeah. toss you. If they can, if they're considerate of you, right? It doesn't have to be a great consideration, but that they actually take the time to consider you. That dude, people are so forgiving. Yeah, and I think that that's all they needed to do. They didn't. They did not need to come out. Like it, it, the majority of this apology was just him giving excuses for why what happened happened. Right. How about instead of giving excuses, you come out and say, you know what? We apologize. We messed up. We're doing this, this, and this for you, right. because of how we, because of what we yeah. did. You don't even got to explain that, to me why things took me, a turn. Yeah, don't tell me you that your system is members, different than other stuff. games where it's not just a flat, you know, open plane to put things in. That's everything's interconnected. You don't need to tell me all that. Right. That ain't gonna make me feel oh, okay. I get it. Yeah. Oh, it's because not flat. The game that. screwed up. Like, yeah. oh, it wasn't yeah. flat. Oh, yeah. That makes so yeah. much sense. <laughs> exactly. Right there. Yeah. Like that's not gonna fix anything. You come in and say, this is what we're doing in compensation for our mess up to you. Right. We took yeah. your money and we gave you a broken thing. And then we're going to just get, we're, we're giving you a fixed item and we're giving you this on top of it for that mistake. Yeah, you're right. They, they should have done that. And they should have said, anyone who, our day one purchasers, our pre-orders, anyone mm -hmm. who played the game, you're getting all the DLC for the life of the game for free as right. a thank you for being patient with us. And, and that gonna, that might encourage some people to go to buy. Up. Like, okay, I'll buy it yeah. and I get the DLC for free for life. Oh, heck yeah, because I know mm -hmm. The Witcher had good DLC, so I know this will have it. So they should have done something like that and they could have did a lot. And just be plain. Right. And they don't could, just put they this, this, definitely... little, this, this, this weird free DLC that we don't know what it is. We don't know right. what it includes. Dude, these companies, man, it's these boards. But they yeah. could definitely tell, you know, they could also be like, hey, you know, uh, we're going to work on this game for a while now. You know, like five or six years, we will be working on this game and continuing to add We're not abandoning it. Yeah, so telling us that please too. Please play yeah. this game. You know what I mean? But I mean, uh, I know that uh, when they released, right, they had a really big sell. You know, they had like over a million copies on like their first day mm -hmm. or whatever. So they did great numbers. Um, whether that, whether they will actually show how many people kept the copies mm -hmm. and Refunded. how much money they've had to give back, or whatever, I don't know. But I wonder if doing this still means that they'll see a huge margin of profit again from the game when they release all of those bug fixes. That's funny, and right? the DLC and, and everything else. Mistake, well, all those people right? that ended up buying the game and then so disgusted rebuy in it, it right? yeah, and are they going to rebuy it again? Will it be cheaper? It. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. will they hit another million dollar mark? Because like I said, it is a great game. It was just built shitty. So once they fix that mm -hmm. issue, it's a great game. Mm -hmm. So, and it will, it will, you know, reflect that once they fix those issues. So I wonder if that's like another gimmick that they could have all contemplated on in the board and was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's get it out there and we can make double the profit. Oh, next dude, time. I don't want to. I hope not. But who knows, yeah. man? Maybe. But despite all this, I still want to really want to play it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it still looks like a great game to me. But 
just the company, it went down a notch in my book. You know what I mean? Um, you I gotta thought be it, eerie now. I thought you look it was at a CG pro, a CD project red look. <laughs> wasn't it when Obama went to the country where the game is made? Like the people in the government gave Obama the Witcher. That's what I heard. I don't know if really? it's true. Hmm. So I, I thought that was what, cool. Uh, they were proud of it, Germany? right? They're proud. Something like like it's a it's thing some, they're proud of. Europe. Somewhere in Europe. Yeah. But I, I, they're proud of their product, right. and I and and I know that, and I know right. the company is probably very prideful, and they're like, oh yeah, a lot of hurting. this is pride, you yeah. Know? And that guy, he looked dead, dude. He looked sad. He he looked, looked, yeah, he, he looked, looked like, like he, he did not want to be there. Dead. Like, <laughs> like he, he was like, like damn, a husk man. spitting out words, right? They probably pulled straws, and he was the last fucking <laughs> straw with the longest shit. He like, ah, damn, I gotta go on camera. Dude, it was not so, good. but you know, I, I give him it. props for saying sorry, but. He, yeah, it was full of BS, prideful, man. but they it said is sorry several times. But yeah, you're right. They so just, what was the extra? I agree. I which is why I thought from the CEO, oh, we're going to be getting something finally. They could have just posted Nothing. their. They just they could have posted their schedule, and I'd have been cool. Yeah, I'd been like, oh, okay, this is the schedule. I wish I wish things were a little bit further along in the schedule, but at least I know you know what to expect. I would have liked actual dates, but again. You know, they fucked up on the dates already. So they're probably trying to 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 fall back on like, you mm-hmm. know, assumptions. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we gonna get it around first quarter is kinda of, kinda of big, you know what I mean? Right. Second quarter is big too. So like we might put it on the ass end of the quarter too. You know what I mean? But it's gonna be here in the quarter mm-hmm. two. It might be the last day of quarter two, but you're gonna get it around that time. So yeah. you know, it gives them a little bit of leeway so they're not forcing themselves. Right. I hope that they don't um I hope that the DLC is fully polished and that there is nothing absolutely wrong with this because if they if they release one more piece of shit out there, <laughs> it's go, that seventeen dollars is gonna drop down to about six real quick because they nobody yeah. will be trying to fuck with uh, CG yeah. Project Red, but you know, wow. hey. but uh, you know, onto that right, you know, we have a uh, you know we just got news I think on Thursday or Wednesday. Uh, you know, I had told you that you guys that my one of my most anticipated games of this year was like my honorable mention was Hogwarts Legacy. And the reason I had put it as my honorable mention is because I wasn't exactly sure if it was going to come yeah, out this year or not. In the video. Yeah. And so uh, it, I was I was good to put it as my honorable mention yeah. because it is, of course, not coming out this year. It's going to be coming out sometime next year. And mm-hmm. we don't know when. But, you know, we do know that they're planning on it coming out next year. Did they year. say 2021? They said 2022. No, I mean, originally when they showed off the game, remember. did they give us a uh, year or a, a window? I think I think the majority of the games that were um, showcased um, as coming out for, like, PlayStation 5 yeah. and stuff like were, that like, anticipated were, for were, were assumed to come out either that year, you know, 2020, right. or the following year. No, it felt like a delay, for so, sure. Yeah, it felt like a delay. I mean, the most of the other games that we've seen between the two consoles, you know, they, they are planned to come out, you know, right. 2020, 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that – I think there might have been, like, less than a handful that we that we saw that said, like, 2022 on it or something like that Mm -hmm. but you know we would be like well why the hell you showing me this now like i only care about what's coming out you know during console release or something like that you know yeah i hate when they do that. so and even first quarter i'm just kind of like well damn but i mean i guess it's cool to know you know they got to show me something right but you know but um you know for for hogwarts legacy to to be coming out in 2022 I felt like that was okay because I didn't, I don't feel like I got like some big promise that it was saying like, oh, 2021, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I got yeah, like an assumption of yeah. it coming out then, mm-hmm. you know? So, uh, you know, on top of that, uh, there was another, another, uh, post UB game, right? with, yeah, with Ubisoft yeah. and Riders Republic. Yep. And that was one of the bigger ones that they were showcasing footage of, right. you know, mm-hmm. in game footage. Right. And, you know, and this was supposed to be like a console release um, that was supposed to be like, I, I feel it was supposed to be like first quarter, you know, that, yeah. that Riders mm-hmm. Republic was coming mm-hmm. out 2021. Right. But that got pushed to 2022 yeah. also. That's so, a far I mean, push, man. How do you guys feel about this? And do you think that, you know, in lieu of what's happened with Cyberpunk 2077 and all the shitstorm that they've been in for giving out, you know, such a shit game. Like, do you think this is a result of that? Well, and then Outriders got pushed. I said last time, one yeah. of my Outriders did get pushed yeah. to May, I think, or April or May of 2021. Yeah, okay. But it was originally February. Right, right, right. Yeah, just that a was lot of things one. getting pushed. 
I think there could be something there. I think because we're in, you know, unfortunately these COVID times, I think they were able to justify their pushback even more with COVID and what happened with Cyberpunk maybe. Um, so if they had any doubts, I think they're they're able to push the button. Hey, execs, we're pushing the game back. We're pushing the game like back. Like any doubts, right? And the execs are be like, yeah. well, okay, we saw what just happened. So, okay, 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 fine. Yeah. You know, maybe they're more understanding. You know, maybe whoever owns the companies, maybe they're a little more lenient right now. So mm-hmm. I, I, I think, I think you know, I think there's something. Something in there. Something in there. I think like, well, so for, well, for one, I'm a little disappointed that Hogwarts is getting pushed back for sure. 2022. For sure. That who is? Hogwarts. But we still oh, haven't even seen trailers, we though. We were really excited, yeah. We, we oh, sorry, trailer. we haven't really seen much gameplay. There was a dope trailer. Gameplay. Yeah, yeah, but that trailer was in-game, though. That trailer yeah. definitely was in-game footage. Like, yeah. it definitely was. But, you know, but we still like, don't know, like, yeah, details Yeah, it wasn't, like, game. detailed gameplay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. Um, But I was I was bummed, because I was really looking forward to Hogwarts. I almost would have made my honorable mention list. Yeah. If I were to make it a little bit longer than two, right, or three. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but I'm, I could care less about Riders Republic. Um, yeah. that, that being pushed back, I probably wouldn't have purchased that anyways to begin with. Yeah. But, but a lot of things are getting pushed back, like all the time now. Like almost every game we hear about gets pushed back. Yeah. And I don't it's think crazy. that's going to be I think the Kenna end got it. pushed back or something like that, right? Or something along those lines. Kenna was yeah. supposed to be a console release. But then they pushed it back until first quarter. So as of now, I follow Ember Labs, and I haven't heard of anything about them being pushed back. So I'm assuming that they're still on on right. on par with, with coming out. Dude, I do. Um, I think there is a lot quarter. of fear. There's a lot of fear right now. No one wants to go through what CD Projekt Red is going through. Nope. Um, but I also think that people need to have a little more confidence. Like, come on, like, you know – clearly CG Project Red knew. You know when something's a buggy mess. Right. And you know when something isn't a buggy mess. If your game isn't a buggy mess, you can see that. You know that. Release your game. If it is a buggy mess, then delay it. Like, we don't want to start second guessing things that we can see in plain sight, you know? True. Um, but I do know that there probably is some fear from that. And, and so I do worry because everything's getting pushed back. And so there's a problem with that too because – People need to still, we need to be able to trust. We need to be able to trust these companies, you know, like when they give us a time, that should mean something. And now it's turning into not meaning anything. We just, we'll just delay it if we have to. I wish more studios just took the blizzard approach. It's ready when it's ready. And when they give a date, they mean it. Yeah. Like it rarely ever has blizzard delayed anything. And they did delay Shadowlands, but it was like a month. It wasn't like that that long of a day as all. I mean, they never delay anything. Just tell us it's ready when it'll be ready and then give us a date when you're ready. That way it means something. Yeah. I think, I think uh, certain circumstances push some of these developers to announce like some type of a, a date or give you like a, a kind of like a general location, you know what I mean? With like, with like the launch of a new console and whatnot, you know, I think that some of these companies are like, Hey, yeah, are you creating something? We need something, man. You know, like give us a trailer or something. We need like a, a time frame. You know, and I think some of these guys are are kind of pressured to like produce something, and then I think a lot of these companies, kind of like CD Projekt Red, want to want to strike when you know when the iron is really hot. So it's like, oh, well, holiday season, let's try to get this then out. Then they then they need to do a better job of tempering their own ambitions for their game. Then I like that falling off the iron is hot. I got you. You know, because what they do is if they put themselves into a box but have ideas that are greater than that box, you're setting yourself up for a total failure, mm-hmm. right? So if you're going to put yourself in a box, that's fine because you need certain cells, you need things, you know, like you're saying, yeah. Yeah. money to be made. Right. Then shrink the game. Do what Ubi, do- Ubi does, right? Like, yeah, they reuse assets, you know, and yeah, maybe they build on a plane, a flat plane. I don't know. But hey, it's fun and it's fine and it works and it makes all the money. Yeah. It still yeah. makes plenty of money. And, you know, you can do a lot of what you want to do on that frame and not screw yourself over in the end. So you, it's a combination. Yeah, like I get it. You want to have things out by a certain time. Right. Well, then don't, you know, shoot for the moon then if you can't, if you don't have the time to shoot for the moon. Especially if you were possibly willing to give, um, you know, free DLC or you were willing to update content, you know what I mean, for a while after. Like you could have easily just withheld, you know, um, 
a borough or an, an island or something like that or you know a piece of the land to make it so that the game runs smoothly mm-hmm. with just that and then you could have just like oh surprise free dlc there's a whole new island branch it. that's like yeah. you know here now and you mm-hmm. you already had that stuff but you were working on it but you're not trying to charge anybody anything extra for it you know what i mean like if they took the destiny approach destiny one you know where there was things that were cut off but just not charged us for it and it's like oh here's a new dlc remember that area that you couldn't run through before but you could see things past it you could get there now you know what i mean but it's it's free so it's not like we're charging you for shit that we already had we just had to perfect that area Mm -hmm. because you know all of these assets were bogging the system down and making the uh, console underperform with the game. So once we cut this off, we were able to see like a a ten percent increase in, in uh, processing speed or mm-hmm. something like that. You know, I'm okay with that. Like you could give me the game and like you know give me a, a good chunk and then break it off into bits and pieces later on. As long as it's you know as long as you're you know making it work good you know what mm-hmm. i mean that that allows me to be like okay this was totally worth the 70 dollars that i paid for this shit or you know the 60 or whatever you know i can wait mm-hmm. you know what i mean i enjoyed all of this area oh there's another area that's over here and it's got even more stuff yeah i'm all over it you know what i mean so it reminds me of grounded because i'm sure that's what they're doing that's exactly what grounded is yeah. doing grounded is constantly adding updating. to it right? yeah every month well, three times a month, they give you an update, and then they're giving you a video of what they've updated. Dude, what if it was like the first ever early access game? What? Where they launched it under the notion that it's early access. I mean, yeah, because we doing do that, that on Steam, days. but we've mm-hmm. never done it with like a physical copy game. What if it was like the first ever, you know, physical say, released early we're access? We're going to do this, we're going to release it, but remember, this is early access. It's still an alpha and beta, and we're going to be adding on to it. Dude, that would have helped too. I feel been like right. that would people still would have bought it. People would have, yeah. I mean, people wouldn't have complained. Like, yeah. oh, it's early, well, access. It's early access. access. I feel like that would work really well with an MMO of sorts. You know, mm-hmm. something like that. Like, I feel like because those are large content things, and you constantly like, you know, it's like one of those things that the game doesn't really end. You know, there's right, always yeah. something else to do after. You know what I mean? So if you did that, I think that would be a, de- a yeah. Good because model. I remember Hades did that. And really? then, and I didn't buy into it at first, and uh-huh. then they launched it for real, and that's when I bought it. Oh, okay. So, it's so they like gave two you separate early releases. access that you could get it. Yeah. Okay. And so it's like two separate releases, but I think it was on Steam only. It wasn't on Switch. You couldn't buy it early on Switch, but you could buy it early on Steam. Right. It seems like Steam is the only place that developers can really do that. Probably. Easier. And how cool would it be if you can like do that, release it? As but you early can actually access. you can actually do that because Grounded has done that for the Xbox. Yeah, but it's digital. There's no physical game you can buy, but right, it's digital. Yeah. yeah. Right. I guess. So I guess yeah. Well, you can buy the digital version of Cyberpunk, but remember this is early access. And I mean, and hold off on a physical disc. Even if you, even if you bought the physical, you just have uh, downloads. Or just you know what I mean? whoever Updates. pre-ordered it, like, hey, if you pre-ordered it, it's not out yet, but you can play the early version. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and and, then people, and that way they could just build on it, and people like us would probably go, well, 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 wait, yeah. I only want early like, access game. And then by the holiday, when they say, okay, now it's finished and we're launching it on a physical disc, mm-hmm. now we buy it and we're all happy. Yeah. So you have a lot of people who jumped on early and they got to enjoy whatever they whatever buggy mess it was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then when they, you know, they're building on it and then by holiday next year, they'll feel, okay, this game's hundred percent polished. Now we'll launch it. Yeah. Uh, more games could do that. And that way you, you, you make money, you make some money, maybe not the whole pile of dough you wanted to make, but you make quite a bit of money and you eventually release it later and you make much more money. So it's like getting half of it up front and half of it later. But that way you maintain the value, the honor of your name. <laughs> You don't ruin your name. Yeah, you make process. loyal customers also. Yeah, you, yeah, and you keep the customers loyal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, all that stuff is interesting. Uh, I hope that, you know, sometime, you know, mid this year, maybe we'll see, like, a trailer um, with, like, some actual gameplay or something like that from Hogwarts just to kind of keep you yeah. interested so you don't forget about it. Yeah. I just want to um, know more about the mechanics in happen. the game. Same. Yeah. Like, how does the multiplayer work? How, yeah, I just need to see even a bit moving more. in the world from room to room yeah. or class how's to class, inventory, or, yeah, zone to zone. yeah, yeah, all yeah. that, but yeah, I, I definitely hope that, um, that companies have more so learned from Cyberpunk's mistakes 
and that the, the people in the boards of these companies, because Ubisoft got a board too. Yep. You know what I mean? Like I hope that they've learned that trying to push something out that is not buck. ready. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you're trying to to hit some kind of a, a mark or something like that or come out at a specific time isn't as profitable as you think. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So because I, I, I just want people to just drop these games and they are, you the know, game. as best as they could have right. done. And I, I get that you're not going to be able to find everything. You know, you're not going to be able to find every single bug. And there's people that just think so far out of the box. You'd be like, damn, I didn't even think to do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't even know how you got up there. Right. But I'm about to update that shit right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude? Yeah. Like, you know, there's like tons of these games mm-hmm. that literally, uh, you know, like Destiny and stuff like that, that will literally see that, oh, like this thing is broken. Yeah. You need to make a quick uh, update yeah, right absolutely. Now like that, you're gonna you know? have your customers find little nooks and crannies yeah. that yeah. are broken that you didn't fix. Right. But we're talking. I mean, it's been. They have trailers on all the glitches, right? We're talking. Uh, in the middle of a quest, a guy get into a car and it breaking, right? Like these are things that you would have easily have seen. No pants. And yeah, all these no weird pants. Things. These things you would have seen. I guarantee it, a hundred percent. Right. There's no excuse for them, right? Like mm-hmm. it's like I was saying before. Come on. You know when your game's a buggy mess and you know when it isn't. You're not fooling anybody. Like Mark, like Mark said, yeah, we're not brilliant game developers or whatever you guys think that you are, but we're also not dumb. Anyone knows that you can see when it's a buggy mess or it isn't, you know? What what I don't get what happened is like what happened to demos, man? We used to have like mad demos back in the day. You know, uh, PlayStation yeah. 3 had like crazy I think Xbox demos. has a demo zone. On Do their, they? On their shop. Uh, I mean, I know Switch that. Switch does. And the Switch does, too. Yeah, I think the yeah, Switch yeah. does, Switch too. does yeah. have a good hearty demo. Yeah, area. Xbox does, I know too. that Xbox had that one little time frame where it was like two weeks or, or whatever where we were able to play mm-hmm. demos oh, yeah, for yeah, upcoming yeah. games. But, like, what's wrong with giving me, like, a, lot of studios a small don't portion? don't demos anymore. You know what I mean? It's literally, like, yeah. it's, just, it's just publishing a small portion of your game or, you know, Maybe giving you the whole game, but you've only got like an hour's worth of access. I think to it. betas like replace that, but yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, even betas, uh, you don't see that many betas. I mean, there's all these closed betas, but why wouldn't you want as many people to try to break your shit as possible mm-hmm. within this small time frame, I so agree. that you can, so that you I can agree, have man. every one of That's those bugs of reported access. and then try to fix those. Yeah, I, th- I feel like some companies are really good. Like the Call of Duties, they always. Release Data, their, yeah. I mean, because they stress sell, test things. They sell yeah. tons of copies, so I think they have to because they're on a pedestal, just like you know, CD Projekt. That's Red. true. They sell tons of copies, right? Yeah. So yeah. they're like, hey, we have to let everyone. But play there's this, quite a bit of games it. like that that are big like that. They're gonna have millions of players. Yeah. Playing. But I mean, you know, you you know that some of these people you're paying to have you know uh, QA testers, you know, uh, playing your game and trying to break it and stuff like that. What's wrong with just doing a small publish of your game and having thousands of people, maybe even millions of mm-hmm. people demo your game for free because they wanted to try your game early mm-hmm. and, and just well, does find that. all the bugs. Yeah. Like, well, does that, what you know what I mean? Thing? If what I does, know, does if that. I know that this is just a demo or a tester and that they're still trying to find bugs and things like that and me playing and enjoying the game with, in however shape it is helps them to make the game better, I'm going to want to download it, you know, especially if it's a big game that I've yeah. been waiting for. Like, I'm going to want to download Everyone that. Everyone would have downloaded and, the and cyber. Uh, they would have yeah, found the every or, damn or bug possible yeah. within that small, you know, two-week yeah. period or something like that of letting somebody, letting people just check it out, you know? I don't like, know why they don't do that. I don't understand why yeah. either. But, you know, it seems like, yeah. you know, you'd see more of that now. You know, right. considering how many pushbacks. Give us a demo. Mm-hmm. Push the game back all you want, but give us a demo. Let us check out what you guys have so far, and let us help you with the bugs. Well, that's why I was trying to advocate for the early access thing, but mm-hmm. I just don't think these big studios are going to be doing something like that, unfortunately. Yeah. They keep everything under wraps, man. <laughs> everything's calculated, right? Everything's for a reason. Yeah. Um, it's all for profits. All this, for money, man. Yeah, all yeah. for profits. These so. smaller studios and stuff, you know, they do. I feel mm-hmm. like they're m- more... Um, often in early access like you're saying on steam Mm -hmm. but these big publishers i feel like they keep you know they don't reveal their hand at all right you know so they just make you pony up for it to try it out right it's all greed i think but oh yeah it is it is but yeah so uh that's all we got for you this week um yeah thank you for watching thank you for listening uh please like drop a comment uh, subscribe and uh, 
yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. Deuces. Peace. See ya. I love you, mate.